European Union. European Union again have 27 countries. It is an economic block as well as a political block. Economic block and a political block. So uh, in out of this particular uh, European Union, 19 of the country uses Euro as the official currency. Uh, other nine countries do not use the euro. You don't have to remember all the countries which use euro or which do not use euro. Okay, I'll just read out the names once you can hear it. Okay, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Hungary, Poland, Romania, Sweden and UK does not use euro. Other European countries, 19 European countries follows the euro currency system. And uh, this came out of again after the uh, Second World War where the European Union wanted to uh, form a single union or a political entity and be a superpower. That is why they have this formation. So what happened after World War II is that the, uh, the European people in order to keep them together uh, because every, every country will have their own nationalistic feeling uh, have their own, uh, you know, agendas. So in order to set all that aside and be a single unit and a powerful unit only, we have they have formed this European Union. And uh, see, in 1946, it's not very important, but understand in 1946, uh, the, the, they formed something called the United States of Europe. Okay, in 1952, uh, European Coal and Steel Community was formed. Then European Court of Justice was also established. Everything comes under this Paris Treaty. Paris Treaty. So European Court of Justice comes under European Union. European Economic Community. European Economic Community Again, it is a, a close community, was created under Treaty of Rome. Um, it actually, it, it was done away because um, this particular ec European economic community was later incorporated into EU. Now there is only EU. So earlier the form formation was European economic community. Then there is another treaty here, Lisbon Treaty, which uh, ceased to exist, that is done. Then there is Merger Treaty. Merger treaty, it actually, uh, we saw so many uh, uh, economic, European economic community, then we saw the coal community. They merged all this together and made European Union. That is a merger treaty. Okay. Uh, you don't have to remember when the countries joined and not. Not very important. So, um, they started expanding in 1973. Now, there is how many countries? Now, there are 27 countries. Only important things we are discussing, okay. Schengen Agreement. Schengen Agreement, this is important. Schengen Agreement is to open borders without passport controls between the member states. Okay. So, Schengen Agreements means you can move around the European countries without passports. Passport controls. Okay. It means it is a it is one union. You don't need passport to move from one country to another country. This is according to Schengen um, Agreement. Then there is Single European Act. Single European Act means the member countries, uh, uh, they will have a time for their economic merger and establishment of a single currency. Okay. So this currency will be used for their foreign policies and all the domestic policies. So this particular Single European Act is to uh, like switch to a single currency uh, over a period of time. Okay. Then we have Maastricht Treaty of 1992. Maastricht Treaty it is called as the Treaty on European Union. And um, this is like uh, Europe, all the European communities were incorporated in the European Union. That powerful European Union was made and European citizenship was created. So that European citizens can move freely from one country to another country. So this particular treaty, Maastricht Treaty, European communities merged, 
European citizenship made. Okay, then you have single European act for what? Single European currency, Schengen without passport controls. Uh, then in European Union, you have a common foreign and security policy. Okay, there will be cooperation between police and judiciary. Then there will be pushing for a single currency, especially this thing, European Central Bank. European Central Bank. Okay, only remember these points from the slides. Common foreign policy, cooperation between police and judiciary, single European currency. They are pushing for, they are trying to create. Okay, then there is European Central Bank. So, what is European Council? European Council means it is a collective body that defines European Union's overall political direction and priorities. That means uh, all the head of the governments of the European countries, they are coming together and they are this European Council, a kind of high level body. Okay. They make decisions. Decisions are made out of consensus. That means uh, they'll see how many people uh, like voted for it and for against it. More number of vote means the decisions will be passed. That is consensus. Okay. So European uh, Council, uh, it was according to the Treaty of Lisbon, not important, Treaty of Lisbon. It is the highest body. Okay. It is uh, all the head of the governments uh, uh, will be the representative of the European Council, the decision-making body of European Union. Then there is European Parliament. European Parliament means uh, this is basically, uh, how can I explain that? This, uh, th it, it is like, see the first and it is the only parliamentary institution of European Union that is directly elected by the citizens. Okay, they have been directly uh, uh, elected by the citizens with a franchise. That means 18 years or above, whoever is there, they can vote. So they have been directly elected by the the people of uh, European Union. So the, that is how the European Parliament is uh, like made. And uh, they are like the, see how the Parliament works. The Parliament do the legislative uh, functions, right? Uh, see here also the European Parliament do the legislation work. So European Commission is the executive body. So I told the legislative body is the European Parliament. The executive body is the European Commission. They have a central bank. They have this uh, judiciary. They have, see, parliament. They also have the executive body, which is European Commission. European Commission is the executive body. Uh, they, they will propose the legislations. They implement the decisions. Okay. So that is another body important. Next is European Court of Auditors. Court of Auditors, it is for the finance. Not very important. European Court of Justice. So they have Court of Justice, they have Central Bank, they have a Parliament, they have Commission. Okay, these are the areas where you have to concentrate.